hundreds gathered in Columbiana for the funeral of Haley Green. It's been nearly a month since the teen was murdered, and today her family and community laid her to rest. WIAT 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle was there and has more on this emotional day. Yeah, good evening, Lee. The funeral was almost three hours long. Still not enough time to express the outpouring of love from those in the community. A man who spoke at the funeral said, We should live a good life so that people will not have to lie at our funeral. But everything that was said at Haley's funeral today was far from a lie. In fact, many remembered how she was so full of life and her infectious smile that they will never forget. Hundreds gathered to pay their last respects to murdered teen Haley Green. Car upon car graffitied in green ribbons and stickers outside of First Baptist Church of Columbiana. Inside, all flocks of the community witnessed a beautiful celebration of her life. Her smile. I miss her smile. I'm going to miss her smile. That's it. Her energy and how she was so full of life, giving this community a reason to come together and be better people. Leave behind inspiration, um, that beautiful smile, um, just the joy of her. Haley's a great person. She had the most beautiful smile, and that's one of the most certain things you remember. And I think you know, everybody can deal with her loss as long as you stay prayed up. After the benediction, people waited outside as the pallbearers carried Haley's body out to a horse and buggy for the procession to her burial site. I mean, it's just the thought of just being here to support her father and mother in their time of need, you know. And it just, you know, she's so young and, you know, we, we just feel great about support. Saturday's funeral brought closure to some as they got to see Haley ride off into the sunset. But many called for healing and forgiveness. We do have to forgive and just sit back and let God take control, not us. Just let God have his way. Now, as you know, Haley was all set to start her college classes and her volleyball career at Lawson State Community College. The coach and her teammates spoke at the funeral and announced that they will dedicate their entire season in her honor. Live in the studio, Stefan Deagle, WIT 42 News coverage you can count on.